What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rodney and what is good? What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know this video is a little late and you already know what time of the week it is. It is August 1st, so you know it's time for my July favorites. Yes, it's time for my July favorites. So we're going to do all my favorites. So we usually do them. This is literally like my favorite video to do because I do them like every, every month. But, so yeah. So you already know what we're going to go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and get to this video, my July favorites. Let's get into it. This first item is from Urban Outfitters, and it is a badass sweater from Urban Outfitters. Um, this was actually on clearance. Um, I think I only paid $29 for this, which is not bad for Urban Outfitters just because everything in there is high as hell. But um, I still love that store. And I love this sweater. I just love how it looks kind of oversized. I love the fact that it's this badass on it. I just love everything about it. Um, I actually bought more um, Urban Outfitters stuff because in the beginning of uh, July, uh, me and my boyfriend, we took a uh, trip to see one of his friends and we was in Urban Outfitters like the whole time. <laughs> we was up there. Like we literally went to Urban Outfitters like the whole, like every day we was with the Urban Outfitters and I bought something every single time. And I had more Urban Outfitters stuff, like I had some black shorts, I bought me some um, cool stussy, um, track pants and I bought me some other stuff but literally my boyfriend takes all of my stuff like literally he has my track pants and my stussy track pants and he has my black or urban outfitter shorts as well so like I will put those in this video but I don't have my boyfriend has those items so I am so tired of him stealing my items but I guess this is what comes to be in a relationship that steal your clothes so yeah I don't want to give them back to you Alright, so this next favorite fashion favorite for the month of July is from PacSun, and it's this Obey um, long sleeve um, shirt from Urban Outfit, not Urban Outfit, from PacSun. I pay only twelve dollars for this shirt, this long sleeve shirt. Now, if you can tell so far, like my first item was a sweater. I like to buy a, a season in advance, so like if it's summer right now, I like to buy for fall. You get what I'm saying? Because why? Because like all the fall stuff and winter stuff is cheaper instead of buying the summer stuff. So I literally buy seasons ahead um, so I won't, you know, I get better deals and it's very, very cost effective. So, and this is a, I, I know this sweat, this long slide, long sleeve tee original price was like almost $40. I only paid like $12 for it. So yeah. So the next item is on my, um, July favorites has to be this t-shirt, long side t-shirt from PacSun. That's on my monthly favorites for the month of July has to be this shirt from Zara, which is like my ultimate favorite thing I bought this, well one of my ultimate favorite, but my ultimate favorite thing I bought this whole entire month. Now I love Zara, y'all know I do, I love their bags, I love their shoes, I love their clothes, I just love everything about Zara. Uh, me and my boyfriend have been going to Atlanta for some reason. The whole month of actually July with the, on the weekends, we went to Atlanta for various reasons, but most of those reasons were to shop um, and do other stuff as well. But every time that we went, we got literally bought something, and he bought more stuff at Zara than I did. But I walked out of there with this nice t shirt. I love the shirt um, so much. I just love this whole like striping detail on it and I love the way this how oversized this pocket is right here uh, with that little I don't know what that type of detail there is but like this shirt is just so different and it fits so good it's so comfortable as well um, I love the shirt so much I think I only paid ten dollars for this shirt because they had a, Zara had this big 70% off sale so and I got this shirt so yeah, so the next item of my monthly favorites has to be this shirt from Zara. And my and my last fashion favorite for the month of July, which is like my most favorite thing I bought this month, like honestly, literally like my favorite thing, has to be this Coach um, accordion wallet. Now y'all know I love accordion wallets, like 
Y'all know I love them. Now, I have a few coach pieces as well. I was wanting to get like this because I have everything else. Except for a book bag. I have two card wallets, I have a bag, and I don't have a sling bag, which I'm, my next thing I'm going to get when I go to, to, to the coach store is the sling bag, um, which will complete everything I want from coach, because honestly, that's all I want is a sling bag. Um, but yeah, I love this wallet so much. It is, it's just everything. Like, I, I've had, I got a black accordion wallet. Um, and I love that wallet so much and I actually miss that wallet um, be because of the amount of cards you can put in there and like you can put cash in there and I actually can put my iPhone 8 Plus in this wallet as well so it, you know instead of me having to put my phone in my pocket I could just slip my phone in here and put it in my back pocket and keep on walking like honestly um, that's why I also love recording wallets because you can do that with them as well um, I only paid $50 for this wallet because, as you know, Coach always at the outlet stores have their 70% off and then you get an extra 20% off as well. This one was like $224. I only paid $54 for it. Like, that's something you cannot beat. And my boyfriend got his first Coach bag, so congratulations to you, babe. Um, he only paid, I think, $70 for his bag. But, you know, we, we just Coach over here, so... <laughs> You know, we just love Coach, and um, yeah. So y'all, the next items on my monthly favorite for month of July fashion rate for month of July has to be this um, Coach according wallet from Coach. I love it. For this next section, I'm going to name it miscellaneous because so I'm going to like group like a lot of my favorites, so like like skincare, electronics, and all that stuff into one entire like full like section. So I won't be like chopping the video up. I can just make it one section. Alright, so the first item that's on my miscellaneous items for the month of July has to be, and I don't think I put this in my fashion, in my favorites, but it has to be this beer bomb from Shea Morster. Now, as you can see, this is kind of run down. Um, Y'all know my brother, he has his own beer growing out and everything like that, and um, he used this product before. But he stopped using it because he explored other products, really good products. Um, as you can see, there's still some in there. And I, the, the one thing I do love about this product is that it's kind of, I don't know, it's not loose. It's very, very, how can I say it? It's not like a loose product to where you can like dip your finger in it and like, you know, like this you have to like, you know, like literally like scrub your hand and like put it on your hair and then like rub it in. I love that. And the smell of this product is just amazing. Like I just love it. So I try to put this on like every night before I go to bed. But if I don't do it every night, I do it like every other night. Um and basically I just put some on my hand, rub it in my beard, and just like what of what I have here and just pick it out. So but honestly honestly this product really helped my beard grow out and to what it is now. Um, it's really, really good. So I do recommend this product. And that, if I, I don't think I put this in my March, April, my, my April, May, or June favorite. So I don't think I have. But if I have, it's okay. Because this product does deserve, does deserve a second review because it is honestly a good product. All right, and for the next items on my miscellaneous section of my fashion, of my um, July favorites, has to be this two terabyte, um, two terabyte hard drive I got from the Apple Store when I was in um, away at the beginning of July. Um, I got the box right here. Um, honestly, I did not know the importance of, and I did not know the importance or the dire need of me having one of these until I got them. Like, I knew I needed one, and I kept saying to myself, oh, I'm gonna get me a hard drive, because, you know, everybody, you know, I'm a graphic designer, so I need this. So, you know, I have a lot of files, like, especially how technology is today, it wants to crash on your ass, and all your shit be gone. <laughs> so, literally, you need something, like, for graphic designers, photographers, like, anybody out there, like, that's creative or anything like that, get you a hard drive. Um, I got two terabytes. Now, my original plan was to get one terabyte, but um, and the name of this of this um, hard drive is called G Drive Media. If it focuses, 
Oh, it is focusing. Cool. Um, yeah. My original plan was to get. Come on back, color. Come on back. I'm glad I bought the two terabyte. Um, and it's very compact. Like I, I can put this in my coach um, side bag and just like plug up what I need to. And honestly, I keep it in my coach bag and my you know my little satchel bag because my side side bag because I never know when I'm going to need it. So yeah. So I, this is like a very important thing. I'm so glad I bought this at the beginning of July because I did not know the importance of ha having this. Like honestly, like I. Like, my computer runs so much faster now that I took in stuff off of my computer and put it onto this hard drive. Literally, like, it, it, it made my speed go up, like, so much faster. So, yeah, so the next item that's on my monthly favorite, so the month of July has to be this 2 terabyte G Drive hard drive. Alright, so for the next section of my um, July favorites video is music. So, y'all know what I like to do every month. You know, I'll show you like my favorite songs and stuff like that. Now, I'm coming up ahead on his own too. Is you a natural blondie like Goku? Sleeping on my belly and I leave like a serpent. Talking heads rippling on the surface. Eyes low, chin, every shoe gazer. Moon walking, I wipe me. Got this time, chop up the poison. J'organise ça, mardi, est-ce que ça joue On se fait des questions, beaucoup trop de questions J't'ai déjà tout expliqué, tu demandes encore, tu vois, tu compliques You know where to find them on Spotify. I'm not even gonna say them. Just gonna put the thing right here, so you can just go look at them, go look me up, and just go follow me and just listen to my playlist. <laughs> okay, so for the next section of my uh, monthly favorites, it's movies and TV shows. Now, I did have an opportunity to watch Pose. Now, I am all for voguing. I love the Vogue community. I'm LGBT myself. I just love, you know, Vogue. I just, I just love the ballroom scene. I love all that stuff. Literally, me and my um, old best friend when I was living in Charlotte, that's all we used to look at is Voguing videos, ballroom videos, and stuff like that. So I kind of really connected with Post, but I did not watch it when everybody else was watching. I waited until the whole entire season was over with, and then I watched it. So I, I can just keep watching it without waiting the next week until the next episode comes out. So, and I honestly said that I did love the TV show, but it was stuff I already expected. Like, it wasn't nothing where I was like, oh my god, like, I was, I was shocked, you know, like, no, it was already stuff I already expected. So it was, it was, it, it was kind of like already like, I already knew it was gonna happen. I already knew how it was gonna fall out. So like, and it's honestly a good TV show. Um, I actually liked it. I'm not saying anything negative about it because I honestly love the TV show. But it's just like, for me, I already ex knew what, I, what to expect to say on that. But Pose was a good show. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I'm ready for season two. I'm ready for Electra to come back. I mean, what she's talking about. I'm ready for Electra to come back next season. I'm ready for Mother um, uh, Evangelista to come back. You know, I'm ready for all the characters to come back. I, I wish they would. You know, it's a lot of good shit doing season two, but that's, I'm just gonna keep it right there because I'll, I'll be all day talking about this because I honestly love the ballroom scene because I'll, I'll be all day talking about what they should do in season two. So. All right, you guys, that's it for this week's video. I know I was supposed to put this up on Sunday, but. Honestly, I was so tired on Sunday, I didn't even think about recording a video. But, as you always know, I always say, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed, girl, like, go ahead and click the bell and be on the house of Rodney. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. 
just click the subscribe button and go ahead and turn that bell on as well that notifies you when I have a new video out. And also, go ahead and like this video, you guys. Thank you guys for everybody who's liking this video. Go ahead and like this video and share this video as well with your friends and family. And that is it for this video, you guys. I will see you guys on next week's video. Bye. Drink your gallon of water every day and you'll feel good, sis. Shed those pounds. Mmm. <laughs> Don't do that, sis. Ugh. Oh. Right. <laughs>